assembly, and I'm a uh, teacher at Austin ISD. I'm definitely going to need uh, a lot of protection from insects, so we're definitely going to need some uh, bug repellent with plenty of DEET. Oh, beauty. Is that it at the end? I'm also a very indecisive shopper. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the guy that studies all the labels and everything. No, I want the good stuff. There's slip grip. I don't know what. In all honesty, I try not to have any expectations because uh, I, I just I, I want to go in there with a blank, you know, slate, and I just want to experience it all firsthand and uh, and just go from there. My rule as a team, hopefully, I'll adapt to whatever rule that they need me. Uh, I think I can. Um, really play a big role, but hopefully just for the overall vibe, I can really contribute with a good sense of humor and open-mindedness. Uh, hopefully I'll be just as open-minded to learn from other people as I can maybe help them. I've been raising three teenagers and that's been incredibly rewarding. Uh, I'm raising two boys, a five-year-old and a three-year-old. Is this is not a trip to to take with just any friend. I mean, this is this is going to be our trip. This is going to be a wonderful thing for all of us together. I'm happy for her because it's what she wants to do, and hopefully she'll have a good time and help some people. She can choose whether to have possible anxiety and nightmares or nausea. There's two different um, medications, and so it's kind of interesting how they, how they you have to pick which uh, you'd like to deal with. But apparently, there it's not an easy medicine. Right, right. There's a, a possibility that's two things. And so yes. while I chose the nausea, <laughs> <laughs> we can do the anxiety all by ourselves. Yeah. So we don't we don't need any help with that. My name is Beth McGill. I was ordained at 25, and now 26. Uh, I find that. I uh, fall in love with people very easily. But I think I'm also the person who asks hard questions. Facing the realities of things like scarcity of resources or um, uh, holding in tension the abundance of things that we have in the United States that are completely scarce in Kenya um, and how we live with the reality of being over consumers and being excessive and um, confronting that, it can be really, really hard. Well, the people that I've talked about it, they're like, oh, so you're going with people from, and I'm like, church? And they assume that it's the door-to-door -door preaching, and it's like, no, it's not going because of a religious thing, we're just a bunch of people going together and doing other things. I'm Emily, I, I guess I got into doing this kind of thing a couple of years back when I spent time in the Dominican Republic and Honduras doing other types of volunteer work. I'm a teacher. I have wanted to teach for a really long time. I am a little bit adventurous and so I, I don't know, willing to try things that others might not want to try or do. I was the daredevil and the one who would just do anything. I enjoy getting to see these great things that you can't see anywhere else. Do you have any uh, fears or reservations? I haven't thought about that yet. I'm still kind of in the, it's a little bit far enough away that I don't have to think too much about it, but it's close enough that it's right there in the back of my mind and I need to start getting on it. But I'd say in about another five weeks, four and a half weeks, I might start to think about it a lot differently. Well, my name, my name is Ken Malcolm and we are here in my, uh, luxurious office at St. David's and I just got back from uh, just got back from getting my shots. So I'm also shooting the window a little bit. It'll look very very godlike. You'll have this white behind you, right? Like that. <laughs> I'm the team leader of the Faith and Community Group. People get lost here all the time. This is a worship space that's been cleaned apparently. But it's also South by Southwest venue. So we had 50 different bands here in March uh, playing all day long and all night long during South by Southwest. So cool. it's a cool, it's a nice, it's nice, the room has nice acoustics. People like, people like playing in there. 
we are going over there as a group of folks not to fix things, not to, not to build something for people, not to provide some service, uh, but to go and to be in community.